Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's get my page all set up. Bear with me while I'm doing this. There's about a, hey, there's about a, a 10 second delay between what's on my screen and seeing you guys. So I'm looking at my cell phone right now. Hey, Karen. Hey, Stacy. I'm sorry. I meant to let you know, like, hey, I'm good. I got this. Um, can you guys hear? You might hear. Oh, sorry. It's shaking. You might hear uh, the TV. They're turning the TV off right now. So sorry. There's a hey. Um, there was Space Jam on. So they're going outside. So um, <laughs> you might hear a little Space Jam. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. My Facebook name. Um, let me get down here. It's still not showing up on my Clay Buddies page. Of course. I thought I had this all good. But, um, yeah, it's <laughs> my Facebook name is Jess Verde. Um, I did that. <laughs> uh, hey. So I don't know if you can see me. Hi. Um, but I did that because I was student teaching like a while ago. A uh, long time ago and when I was student teaching um, I was trying to hide from my students which I didn't really need to hide from them because I had nothing to hide um, but I thought I better do it <laughs> so um, and my professors told me to do it and all that good stuff so um, give me a few minutes to get this set up oh yay now I see it it's finally popping up <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to enlarge the video so I can see, oop, and mute. I should know all of this because I've been doing live um, videos for my art kids. Hey, oh cool, um, welcome guys. Um, I've been doing live videos for my art students um, and for anybody that joins um, since our school was, you know, shut down due to the virus. Um, on my Art with Mrs. Jessica Green um, Facebook page. So on that I have like a fancy overlay and there's two videos. Um, there's like the video of my face and then there's the video of what I'm working on so everybody can see it. Um, but this time it worked better if I just had one video. So anyways, um, this is kind of a, a mug that still needs a lot of work. It's not perfect, but it's a good one to demo on. Um, so I pulled this one out. But anyway, hi guys. I'm, as you can tell, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I, I can demo in front of kids every single day and not be nervous at all, but adults, you guys scare me. No, I'm just kidding. You don't really scare me. Um, but you know, oh, I want to make sure that I'm doing this right and you guys have the video the right way. So, um, if you can't see anything, hey guys, Mississippi, British Columbia, Canada. Wow. That's really cool. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> um, but I want to make sure you can see everything and I want to make sure I give you the best demonstration possible. <laughs> if you hear little feet running in and out, um, my kiddos are going for a walk. So they were running back and forth and grabbing the dog and the leash and everything. Um, so let's get started. Um, hey, what do you need, bud? Okay. <laughs> Just on your phone. Go. Just go. Tell daddy to grab the leash and the dog. It's in the living room. <laughs> So anyway, um, oops, I just kicked, I kicked that. There we go. Um, my basement is in, or sorry, <laughs> my studio is in my basement. 
Um, but I didn't take you guys down there because I have really bad connections, so you won't be able to probably see the video. Just go. You're fine. Just go. 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 You're fine. Oh my gosh. Um, but you would lose me and I would be able to demo for like five minutes and then it would kick me off. So we're not going to do that. We're going to sit right here really close to the connection. Um, so I'm just going to wait a little bit. There's a few more people jumping on. Um, hopefully. Yeah, I know, right? They're so real. I have like kids and dogs barking and running in and asking my, my nine year old, um, which if you guys have uh, kids, you probably realize this too. Um, they're a bit nervous about what's going on. And a local lady in our town is making face masks and I, um, <laughs> I purchased some face masks for them. Um, and he saw me bring them home and <laughs> I know, right? And you saw me bring them home and he was like, you know, oh, face masks, now I'm not going to get the virus. And I was like, buddy, you know, if you stay six feet away, if you wash your hands, if you keep your fingers out of your nose and your mouth, you're, you're okay. It's okay. But he is, he's nervous. And so he was running in and out just now trying to find the bag with the rest of the masks to make sure daddy and um, his little brother was okay. So... <laughs> Hey, oh, Marianne, hello, hello, Minnesota, wow, you guys are from all over, Missouri, this is awesome, Mississippi, um, so I am in Pennsylvania, um, and I'm an art teacher, I teach in Punxsutawney, which, oh, they didn't take the dog yet, um, I teach in Punxsutawney, hold on, I think I'm gonna ask them to make sure they take the dog, I'm so sorry. Okay, we did prepare for this, I swear. <laughs> um, but anyway, I teach in Punxi and um, Punxsutawney, where the groundhog is. Um, they don't worship the groundhog. In fact, the kids that go to Punxsutawney are kind of like so over the groundhog, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, they do, you know, they do a lot of stuff there with it and it brings in a lot to the economy during that one weekend. Um, so anyway, that's where I teach. Um, and then I don't live there. I live like a little ways away from there and drive in, but down to what's actually important right now. Um, I do underglaze illustration on my pots. <laughs> oh, thank you. I really, seriously, that makes me feel so good. Um, knowing that you guys understand, <laughs> um, but yeah, they're, they're like running in and out for snacks. Yeah, <laughs> there's one of my former students so over the groundhog. Um, but for my underglaze illustrations, what I use is the Velvet Underglaze um, V361. So I like the Jet Black. It seems to work the best. Um, let me make sure that the camera's getting this and I'm not turning it a weird way. Um, but... I like this one the best. I think that this one seems to stay uh, and not burn out. I had a lot of issues with burnout in the beginning. Um, and I'll show you that. Like I spent hours on the illustrations, hours, um, and it would just burn away. I don't have any of my first Cone 6 fired um, pieces, but I do have a couple of the ones from... Uh, the cone tens that I did. Now these ones, the illustrations stayed pretty well. Let me just wait till the camera catches up so I know that I'm showing you. Hello. Hey guys. Okay. So yeah, this one, um, the illustration stayed pretty well. Um, this was one of the first ones that I did. And, but you can see like cone 10 tends to burn out um, some of the image there. So it doesn't stay 
as well as the um, the other stuff. Hey, Brittany. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's wood fired, and then uh, this one's wood fired too. Um, this one's also cone ten, um, and it it burned out a lot, but I really loved it, so I kept this one. I didn't sell it. Um, but yeah, hey, Christy. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I wood fired a lot of them and I do love the wood firing and then I started figuring out what I needed to do with the images to keep them in the wood firing. Um, but unfortunately sometimes there were other things that happened to, you know, destroy a piece. Um, but again, it actually like this, this was a salt, um, firing, a wood firing with salt. Um, so this one actually sealed the edges and made it really smooth and I'm not getting rid of it because I think it's really cool. Um, but this one, the illustration stayed quite beautifully on it. Um, and what I did there is I actually just left, I, you know, I, I left this plane. I didn't put anything on top of it to protect the image. Um, and it seemed like that actually did a really good job of preserving my image um so yeah so those are wooden soda fire ones um and then what I do mostly is my electric um you if you go to Jess Green Ceramics in Instagram or in Facebook um I do use my real name on those pages Jess Green Jessica Green well it's, my pages are Jess Green um but these ones are mostly, you know, electric. They're cone six. Um, I bisque fire to cone 04, um, and then do the rest and cone six. Um, so, yeah, the clay, it, the clay for these ones was high water clay. Um, and then the clay for my, thank you, Christy. I had asked her that earlier. I knew it was high water, but I didn't know what kind um, because I fire with an awesome potter, Nancy Smeltzer, um, in her kilns, and she gives me the clay, and then I make the pieces and decorate them and bring them and fire with her. But anyway, um, what I started off with on my own was I started using the standard VP porcelain 551, um, and I found that my images burned out a lot with that clay so I stopped using that clay um, now I use standard 181 white stoneware that's what this is um, and I really like the way that they look right now so I'm I'm happy with them right now um, and they seem to hold the images mostly I've also found out that I can only put just one or two layers of clear um and i use just amico pre-mixed glazes i being an art teacher and being a mom i have no time to mix my own glazes <laughs> um and if you do and you do all that stuff on top of it you are my hero i have no idea how you do that um but <laughs> anyways i yeah i just use the regular already pre-mixed for me um i also learned that I can't use um, certain clear glazes. If I use anything but zinc-free clear, then my images fade away. So this is all with just one or two coats of zinc-free clear over top of my underglaze and cone six. So now you know. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, it's really fun. I love doing the illustrations. Um, they take a while because I'm really picky and I stare at my images forever. And, you know, I first start out, I make sure that I have my piece. Um, this is bone dry. This piece right here, uh, I would have smoothed it out. I'm not completely done with smoothing it out yet, but I needed a demo piece. And the demo piece that I had, I'll show you what happened to it. Hold on. I need to... Uh, actually turn on this computer because my image went away okay so my demo piece that I had I hope you can still hear me across my room this is the life of 
a art teacher slash mom slash potter, um, I had a piece already and it was mostly smooth and I was working on smoothing the rest of it and then that happened because my kiddos were playing around at the table and bonked it and so I started but yeah so anyway um yeah I I try to smooth out the surface as much as possible before I illustrate on it um, I just like it better that way uh, some people have a much more um, rough surface <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Um, some people have a much more rough surface, but I like to illustrate it on a smooth surface. In fact, that's why I picked the standard 181 white stoneware because I love, 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 love um, porcelain. I love working with porcelain, even though it's fickle as heck. Um, I love it, but it wasn't working for my illustration process, and that was more important to me. So I found the next best thing, which was 181, standard 181, um, white stoneware. So anyway, let's get down to making the image. Um, I'll stop talking about that here. I put this here. Mm, I was trying to listen to Tim and put my information out there um, so you guys can see it. <laughs> I'm a peach in the classroom. Thank you, Kaylee. Um, so anyway, I think I'm crazy. Anyway, um, what I do is I start out with dumping a little bit of my underglaze straight from my bottle right into, usually it's just, I use like a little thing like this, um, and I dump it into the lid and then I put the lid upside down on top, just so you know. Um, oh, that's not even working. Come on. Um. Let's see. Eh, whatever. I'll keep telling you what my Instagram is. Um, but anyway, this is how I start. I get my water and I'll put it right here. Okay. Um, I usually put a puddle somewhere around the lid, either big lid, small lid, whatever I do. Um, and then I usually work with my piece either laying down like that or I cradle it in my hand. Um, it's bone dry. It's not bisque yet, so I'm not worried about the oils on my hand getting onto my piece. Um, this is just a Prang wa watercolor brush, nothing fancy. Um, I have done, like I have used fancy brushes, but eh, they're the same. It's whatever. Uh, but anyway, I dilute the black underglaze and then I start in layers. So I, in my images, I use a lot of chickadees. And the reason why I use chickadees is because um, it's kind of uh, a bird that reminds me of my best friend or my grandpa. Um, he's the one that pushed me when I was little to pursue what I loved and he taught me how to do art. Oh, I also tend to paint my hand. Um, I don't know how bad that is. I hope it's not terrible. I don't do it all the time. So hopefully my thumb's not going to fall off. Um, but <laughs> I tend to, t to uh, check and see how dark everything is on my hand um, before I put it down on the cup. So anyway, um, but yeah, chickadees are my pap and I's kind of thing. We used to watch the chickadees all the time as they would fly in and out of um, the garage. He has a big giant wood shop and I grew up in that wood shop. That's where I spent most of my time. Um, I don't remember a time ever not being in that wood shop. He taught me how to use all the equipment in there and I was using like band saws and stuff from the time I was little. <laughs> he would just say, if you can learn how to use it safely and prove to me that you can use it safely, you know, tell me what you want to make and we'll make it. And so that's, that was my childhood. Um, my grandma would always try to get me to go inside and learn the you know 
learn the domestic things, but <laughs> she like even forced me to have sewing lessons because she wanted me to be all domesticated. And I was like, I want to go outside and build a pap. Um, so anyway, that's where I went outside to build with pap. Um, and you can't see it. Oh, geez, guys, I'm sorry. Did it get blurry? Let me get closer to the screen. I'm sorry. Here I am just talking away. Yes, I will move the camera. I apologize. I have it on a tripod. Let's get this thing closer. Okay, 10 second lag. Let's go. All right, how we doing? Hold on, I'm watching myself gab and now I finally <laughs> stopped gabbing. Okay. So let me look at my camera. How's that? I'm gonna press there, see if I can get it to focus in. Better? I'm gonna move my.